were talking earlier about the, the ego, loves complaining, first of all, loves to believe, loves to identify with the thoughts in the head and believe those thoughts, and loves to complain. But aren't there some things legitimately worth complaining about? Like you talk in the book about, my soup is cold. Yes, in a and restaurant. Yeah, in a restaurant. My yes. soup is cold. Sometimes your soup is cold. That's right. Yes. So first of all, the complaining that we are talking about mainly here, the egoic complaining, most of that fulfills no real purpose because mm -hmm. it's not meant to bring about change in any situation. Yeah. In probably 90% of the cases, it has no real purpose because it's not meant to bring about change. Mm -hmm. It's meant to strengthen the ego. I see that. <laughs> And, and then, yeah, of course, it. as there are situations, of course, where something needs to be said in order to bring about change in the situation. And that's a completely different kind of complaining, where you say something in, so that change can happen. For example, the cold soup in the restaurant. You say, right. the soup is cold, please bring me hot soup. Mm -hmm. That's fine. You could call that also complaining, and there are also two ways of as far as this kind of complaining is concerned, it is connected to a real situation and is meant to bring about change. Mm -hmm. There's one way of complaining with, with ego in that situation also, and that is when you, the ego is attempting to make somebody wrong. A personal element comes into it and it's, it's a negativity that flows into to it. To make somebody wrong because my soup is cold. Yes. They, Damn it. That's right. Yeah. You're personalizing it. Mm -hmm. And so you're making a, another person almost, one could say, into an enemy when right. you complain in that way. So you, there is a way of complaining. I wouldn't even perhaps call it complaining, of simply stating what the situation stating is. Stating the facts. Yes, without the negativity that flows into it when the ego does it. Mm -hmm. And so that can be practiced. And it's the whatever you are stating in order to bring about change is actually going to be much more effective mm -hmm. if it's done without the negativity. Because if it comes with negativity, it provokes a negative reaction in the other. And so the whole situation then becomes a conflict situation.